Eric Erickson, a famous psychologist, said that ageing is actually the part of a human development. There's a change of roles, there's a change of relationship, there's also a change of internal identity and external identity as well. I do think ageing is a natural process, but it can be quite scary if I say we are uninformed or not prepared well. Because the majority of us will go through some physical, mental decline and some life transition changes. Now, aging is not just a medical or biological process. It is a process of a person going from one stage of life to almost what we call the final stages of life. And in that time, the person grows as a human, you know, in terms of their thoughts, in terms of their feelings and emotions and their spirituality. So my name is Amin. I am a researcher for 10 years. Hi, my name is Xiao Wei. I have been a nurse since 2030. My father, who was a stroke survivor, when he had the stroke, it was one of the areas that really pivoted me towards moving into understanding of gerontology because no matter what he had, I couldn't help him. I couldn't save him from the stroke. And whatever research I was doing couldn't change his life as well. So I wanted to be part of a process that could really change society, change people into understanding ageing and also affecting policies from, from the point of a researcher. When I was young, I was born in a small town and my father was uh, some, have some knee issue, was referred to a big hospital because our village, uh, our small town have limited resources. The time I feel um, helpless and a bit nervous because we don't have the resources and knowledge. Because of these events, then I chose to uh, go to the medical university after my uh, college uh, entrance examination and I want to be there when my family need me. The gerontology program focuses not only on the psychological or social aspects of ageing, it really looks at the research methods of ageing, the sciences of ageing. And at that point in time, the mix of that in a very diverse curriculum was a big pull factor for me and why I did this program in NTU. The lecturers, the information they provide to us is in-depth and it's up to date, which helps us to sharpen our ideas in how do we think about the current issues. I made a big conscious decision to really take care of myself, take care of my body, and really just help my body age, my cells age healthily with me, because that, that is the control, that control is with me and with no one else. After this course, I try to be more active and keep to the healthy diet. Meanwhile, I try to share the knowledge I get from the courses to my family and to my clients. Well, my current hopes is that I would really like to provide aging individuals who are stroke survivors and family caregivers with the necessary support that looks after what the gerontology program has really equipped me with. Looking at the psychological, social, emotional and spiritual healing that happens after a stroke. The nurse will need to be empty, have strong commission abilities and be patients also. That's why I chose to study in gerontology after I specialize in nephrologists. Honestly, if I were to, if I did not make that jump and when I had the opportunity to take on and understand aging, I'm not sure I will be in this position.